Well, a few Jeez. players have already made their decisions on that. Danny Ings arriving at Aston Villa. That announcement coming totally out of the blue. Maybe they are preempting the news that Jack Grealish will be going to Manchester City for a hundred million. So, Aston Villa fans, how are you feeling about those two signings? You also got Leon Bailey. Highly rated from Bayer Leverkusen a little bit earlier on today. Add that to Emmy Buendia and Ashley Young. Is there more of a revolution than you think coming under Dean Smith, whether Jack Grealish is there or not? But if you're a Southampton fan, you've lost your top goal scorer here. You've got in the region of £30 million. Will that be reinvested, do you think? And if you're a City fan, do you think Jack Grealish is going to be starting every week? How much does he add for your club? We'll take all calls this evening. 08717 And if you just missed it, news this evening in Italy that Romelu Lukaku has asked Inter Milan to leave. He wants that move to Chelsea. He wants them to accept any suitable bid. So if you're a, a, an Inter fan or a Chelsea fan, what are you thinking about Lukaku? This chance, this, oh, I'm getting into this transfer window. Who needs actual games? Let's just play this all, you know, football manager type. It's picking type up game. beautifully now, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. And you just feel it's going to be rolling and rolling all the way to the very end. Scott is an Aston Villa fan. He's given kickoff the call. By the way, I'm Hugh Wisencroft alongside the former Chelsea and West Ham defender Scott Minto this evening. Scott, good evening. Hi, Dean. You're all right? I'm doing very well, but I don't support Aston Villa, Scott. So how are you feeling? Uh, a bit of mixed emotions, really. Um, Jack going, obviously, is gutting. But we're bigger than Jack. We're Aston Villa, and we've been around for a long, long more time than Jack's been around. Yes, he's done great with the club. Uh, the good lady before got spot on, really. Um, yeah, it's just... I'm buzzing about the signings. Um, you've got to trust in uh, Dean Smith, really. You've got to give him his dues. It's a championship at 15th position. And we're back in now. People are talking about us. We're back where we belong. What's the aim now for the upcoming season? You're, you're probably not going to have Jack Grealish. So without him, can you finish better than the 11th place finish of last year? you got to, you got to think. Yeah, Jack pushed us through games. But we're more of a, we'll be more of a team next season. We've got to aim for top eight, top top six, top eight. Progress every season, absolutely progress every season. We're a big club, we're a massive club. I think it's just everything when you've got a fan coming on saying mixed emotions when the best player, the iconic player, the talisman, is about to leave for one hundred million pounds, and yet he's excited about actually how the club are dealing with that type of money and what's going to happen. You know, I, I, I'm the same as you. I mean, I remember watching you know Villa just a few years ago and covering the games as well, and I think they were thirteenth come March the first, went on a fantastic run, and and went up through the playoffs. An amazing day, it really was. Jack was wearing boots that you know you, <laughs> they apart. were just absolutely <laughs> disgraceful. You know, if he, his mum must have said, "You're not going out in those." But honestly, it was it was a fantastic day. So then to spend all that money, just about survive, I think they've learned. I think they've learned on how they want to spend that money. And I think that's the important thing. And we mustn't, you know, we're talking about Danny Ings and we're talking about Bailey as well. We mustn't forget Emmy Buendia. Okay, that's not been done in the last week, but he was seen, he is seen as the kind of, it's difficult to say a replacement for Jack Grealish, but he will give, give that creativity along with other players, better players around him as well. So I think you're absolutely spot on. I think it's about the team and Aston Villa kicking on. And I, I would be very surprised if they don't better the 11th of last season. Thank you, Scott, for your call on 08717 That was another Villa fan. You know, he's, he, he was pretty level-headed, so we've got, you know, we've got a mix tonight, a mixed bag. But I wonder how the Southampton fans are feeling. I think we might have just lost our Southampton fans. We'll come back to them in a few moments' time. Um, I, I, was, I wanted to talk about the Jack Grealish move. If I, if I was a Villa fan, I would be devastated. Mm. I'll be perfectly honest. He's that good. I would be devastated. It's great to see the club spending the money in the right way. That's all you can do, reinvest it. The money's right for me. So if I'm a Villa fan, I'm sitting there. You know, we've heard the Spurs fans earlier on this week, only if the money's right. Mm. For me, the money is, is right, which is probably more than enough for Jack Grealish. I think I would have been happy with 80 million quid. You know, they got 100 million pounds for him. In these times. In these times, you know, and, and it's a chance to progress, as the Villa fans have said already. But just on a personal note, I wouldn't, nothing against Jack Grealish. He's so good, I'd just be devastated not to have him at my team, but particularly a talisman who's a local yeah. lad who's been the captain. But, you know, I think you can look forward if you're a Villa fan. Vernon is a Villa fan who's with us on TalkSport this evening. Are you looking forward in the right way? Do you begrudge Jack Grealish at all? No, not at all. 
love Jack, we'll always love Jack. We're going to be able to see our boy on a world stage. And Jack is so much better than 100 million. Manchester City have got a bargain at 100 million. Ben White has gone for 50 million to Arsenal. 100 million is not enough. I'm not complaining. Jack Grealish, you're, you're going to be watching a world, world class player develop. He's so good. Put him, in a, put him in a very, very good team and just watch him blossom. So, yes, like other callers, I've got mixed emotions. I'm losing my boy, as it were. He used to go to my school. Um, I don't know him personally. Obviously, I've often seen him at Villa Park, Grace the Stage. But to see one of your own be able to become one of, what I believe, one of the few world-class players this country has produced... That's how good he is. But you know what? We're Aston Villa. We've got a fantastic owners, incredibly wealthy. Nobody can compete with Manchester City because they're a country. They're owned by a country. Aston Villa are owned by two of the wealthiest men in the world. And we still couldn't keep our boy with us because he wants trophies. And who can blame him? You know, in, in Korea, people develop, they go, they go for money. This isn't about money. Jack's an incredibly wealthy man already. But he's going to go to Manchester City. He'll play in the Champions League. And I will watch with immense pride when he plays on a world stage. But you know what? We're in great hands at Aston Villa. We'll, we will have a very good season. We don't need 100 million. They're not spending Jack Grealish's money. They were going to spend that money beforehand. They've just got now even more money to spend got good owners, give us two or three years, and I think you'll find we will be a top four, top five team. This year, I think eighth is where we need to aim. It's very positive. Every signing, you know, obviously from Emmy Martins to Matty Cash to Tar you know, Matty Target, um, you know, we've got some really good players. Ollie Watkins up front. I'm delighted with Danny Ings. Such a sensible, energetic signing, and he's a goal scorer. Ollie Watkins, by his own nature, is developing. So it's really positive times. I'm really proud to see that our boy, Jack, is going to be on a world stage. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree. And I think Villa are probably, as you rightly say, two or three years, maybe even more than that, behind the, the, the top four. But top eight, I think, is something that Villa should be going for. And, and Jack Grealish... Look, I think he'll always love Aston Villa. Of that, there's no doubt. But are you put ask anyone, anyone in the same position and you have a chance of... And he, the caller was totally right there about the money. It's not about the money. He'll probably be on more money at City. But it's about the trophies. It's about becoming a legend. Just trying to think of any players that have been likened so much to Gaza in the way that he controls the ball and lends the ball and runs with the ball and dribbles and and just excites people in the way that Gaza did. I, I, you know, I'm putting a bit of pressure in him there, but mm. under Pep Guardiola in that team and playing for England as well, moving on to England on the international stage, that could be the difference between us just falling short and winning a major tournament. Kick off with Hugh Woosencroft. Tuesday to Thursday night, 7 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.